about. So yeah, let's let's talk about that. Um, in 1888, uh, Grover Cleveland, the Democrat, is running for a second term against Benjamin Harrison, the Republican. Um, what happens here? Well, it's an unusual race. Um, unusual, okay. Uh, unusual in the sense that um, uh, you had really two presidents running against each other. You had a, a an incumbent president, Benjamin Harris, Harrison, running against a former president. We've never really had that kind of circumstance um, before. Um, and at the same time, they had very sharp differences. But one of the things that really stands out for me in the election, besides the fact that the country was entering into, into a depression, was how the two candidates treated each other. Uh, Cl Harrison had defeated Cleveland. Um, at the inauguration for Harrison, uh, Cleveland holds up an umbrella over his head. Wait, he holds an umbrella over the person, the head, who, has, who had defeated him. Yes, uh, <laughs> it was raining, but it was a, it was a it, a gesture so unique to the times and perhaps to those personalities. It's hard to imagine today um, a defeated uh, incumbent doing that, but Cleveland <laughs> did. And then that's an understatement, won. Professor Gerhardt. <laughs> and then when they ran against each other the second time, unfortunately, Harrison's wife died during the campaign and Cleveland stopped campaigning out of respect for Harrison. Wow. And again, that's hard for us to imagine. Um, and he didn't really sort of come back without at least getting a signal from Harrison that the campaign should continue. Um, and so those moments for me um, are, are real rarities, especially in contrast to the kind of animosity and uh, that we see these days and the lack of sort of empathy and, and yeah. sort of class we see in people running for the presidency. 